brodifarcalm is a highly lethal 4-hydroxycumarin vitamin K antagonist anticoagulant poison. In recent years, it has become one of the world's most widely used pesticides. It is typically used as a rodenticide but is also used to control larger pests such as possum. Brodifarcalm has an especially long half-life in the body, which ranges to several months requiring prolonged treatment with antidotal vitamin K for both human and pet poisonings. Chemical synthesis, brodifarcalm is a derivative of the 4-hydroxycumarin group. Compound 1 is the starting ester needed to synthesize brodifarcalm. To obtain this starting compound a simple witted condensation of ethyl chloroacetate with 4 a euro unregistered trademark bromobifenyl corbicsildehyde was accomplished. Compound 1 was transformed into 2 by consecutive hydrolysis, halogenation to form an acid chloride, and then reacted with the required lithium anion. This was done using KOH and AO for hydrolysis, and then adding SOCl2 for chlorination to form the acid chloride which reacted with the addition of lithium anion. Compound 2 was then transformed using organocopper chemistry to yield compound 3 with good regioselectivity of about 98%. Typically a Friedel Crafts type cyclization would be utilized to obtain the two ring system portion of compound 4, but there were issues of low yield. Instead trifluoromethanosulfonic acid in dry benzene catalyzed the cyclization in good yield. The ketone was then reduced with sodium borohydride yielding a benzyl alcohol. Condensation with 4-hydroxycumarin under HCl yielded compound 5, brodifarcalm. Toxicology, brodifarcalm is a 4-hydroxycumarin anticoagulant, with a similar mode of action to its historical predecessors dicalmerol and warfarin. However, due to very high potency and long duration of action, it is characterized as a second-generation, or superafrin anticoagulant. Brodifarcalm inhibits the enzyme vitamin K oxide reductase. This enzyme is needed for the reconstitution of the vitamin K in its cycle from vitamin K oxide, and so brodifarcalm steadily decreases the level of active vitamin K in the blood. Vitamin K is required for the synthesis of important substances including prothrombin, which is involved in blood clotting. This disruption becomes increasingly severe until the blood effectively loses any ability to clot. In addition, brodifarcalm increases permeability of blood capillaries. The blood plasma and blood itself begins to leak from the smallest blood vessels. A poisoned animal will suffer progressively worsening internal bleeding, leading to shock, loss of consciousness, and eventually death. Brodifarcalm is highly lethal to mammals and birds, and extremely lethal to fish. It is a highly cumulative poison due to its high lipopilicity and extremely slow elimination. Following our acute LD50 values for a variety of animals, given these extremely high toxicities in various mammals, brodifarcalm is classified as extremely toxic LD50.